that's my story. I am a writer and actress, originally from LA. Um, I write a blog. Maybe you've heard of it. Um, it's called Aqua Girl in the City. Hmm. No. No. Um, okay. It's about my life, dating and living in Los Angeles. Sound familiar? Yeah. yeah I, well, not with you. I, I remember there's a... Oh, yes! Like that cute little girl and her friends in New York. You know, she wears a flower in her hair. Mm. Kelly Bradshaw, New York, you know, that one, like that. Kelly Bradshaw. Yes. You think that my life is like Carrie Bradshaw. Yes, exactly. The made-up character from Sex and the City. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay, no. My life is not like Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City. Carrie Bradshaw wrote a what? three paragraph essay in a newspaper, but yet made enough money to run around New York City wearing Manila Blahniks? I can't afford Manila Blahniks, okay? Not at all. You know what I can afford? Nothing. You know where I have to live? With my friends. She lived in a rent controlled apartment. I live with my friends because my boyfriend of two years who I live with dumped me over a text message, okay? You know what else? I have to buy non-brand name pasta from the market. You know why? Because it goes on sale every week and I buy it by the truckload because that is what a real writer can afford. You know what the worst part is about the non-brand name pasta? I can't even eat it because stupid me wants to be an actress and if I eat the non-brand name pasta, I'm gonna get chunky and nobody wants to hire a chunky black actress. Okay? Carrie had Mr. Biggs. You want to know who I have? Oscar. You want to know who that is? My goldfish. And the only man who has seen me naked in over six months. So no! My life in no way resembles Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City! Okay. Okay, dear. I just... I just... Wonderful, I, I get it now, but mm -hmm. uh, what I want to know, yes, 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 is, can you work weekends? Um, that, that I can do. Okay. I can work weekends. Okay, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. Now, my little prince here, uh -huh. he wears his Gucci sweater. On Tuesdays and Thursdays. Dog has coochie. And his a, a Birkin little bag. He has a Birkin bag on his back. So 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 he has Gucci. Yes, dear. And, and a Birkin bag. Yes. On the other days. I got I got a bag from Goodwill the other day. I ah, uh, it's pretty cute. And organic beef only. Organic beef only. You'll have to make that. I have to, I have to make it. Yes. yes. Oh, um, uh, I think he needs to be walked right now. His uh, ruby, his, 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 his little ruby leashes those, on the door right those, over there. Those jewels, that, those, are, those are his leashes? Of course, dear. So here you go. Look, he, he's very ready. He needs to go. So go ahead. Show me what you can do. He's very ready and he's very anxious to go out. So go ahead. Show us what you got. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go oh. ahead. He I, sheds a lot. Oh, okay. Thanks. I, I don't know why you were black today. Hey, Kimmy. How are you? So, how are things going with you and Brother Almighty? Um, I think I'm going to break up with him. What? Why? Because I... I think he's Darth Vader. Okay, okay, okay. So, I have a regular caller and he likes to role play. I'm Mr. Slaya, he's Darth Vader. Anyway, I went to Michael's house the other day and his house is full. Like, full of posters and memorabilia of Star Wars. And he was trying to seduce me and he like sat me down and and then he asked me something that Darth Vader only asks me. He asked me if I wanted to be Princess Leia. And that's what Darth calls me when we talk. And then, and then, get this, then he asked me if I wanted to play with his lightsaber and not in a kosher way. Not Brother Almighty. So what did you say? 
I left. What else was I supposed to do? And he's been calling and calling and calling and I finally picked up the phone and I'm going over to his house to talk. Okay, honey, listen, you just have to face this issue. Aren't you the one telling me to stop running away from mine? So you have to face this. And look at it this way. He has to understand. He's your best caller. I guess you're right. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so do it. All right, I'll see you later, Mistress Leia. Okay. All right. Bye. How have you been? I've been, I've been good. Um, I've been good. So listen, uh, I have something that I need to tell you. No, Kimmy, um, did I do something wrong last night? No, 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 nothing. No, I like you, I like you, I just... You just don't want to see me. No, no, that's not it. No, I really like you. I, okay. I just, uh, I'm just... I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say it, okay? I'm, uh, Michael, I'm Princess Leia. I don't know what you're talking about. What, what, what are you, what, what? Michael, I, I know you're Darth. And the reason why I know is because you've been calling me almost every day. And the reason why I left so abruptly is because I saw the Star Wars stuff. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but are you, are you telling me your, your, your phone, your, your, your phone sex operator? Yeah, I mean. I can't believe that. You think I've been, I, I've been calling you? Seriously, Michael, I know this may come as a surprise, but it's just a <laughs> job. No, 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 no. No, that is not okay. That is, that is sinful. Well, I thought since you call me and I'm the other person. You know what we need to do? We need to pray. We need to pray. What? Heavenly Father, please forgive this vile temptress who, temptress. who is, has put forth no. her body and soul through, through I... your magical telephone. The Lord Post is going to be so amazing. What? what are you making anyways? It's Greek. It's totally in. <laughs> okay. Uh, sweetie, what's wrong? Uh-oh. Okay. I take it your big reveal did not go over too well with Brother Almighty. What happened? After I told him that I couldn't find work as an actor, so I became a sex phone operator, you know? And that his weekly sacred of sex phone calls are taken from me. I'm Mistress Leia! And then I go over Will. Aww. Well, what did he say when you told him? He prayed for me. He hit on my head and was like, ah. Uh, uh, what? The, what? He prayed for you? Oh my god. Are you serious? Okay, this douchebag calls her, wearing a Darth Vader mask, jacking off every week. And he puts his hand on your forehead and prays for you? Oh no. That's no, 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 no. You know, I, sweetie, I know you really liked him, but at least you found out he's a jackass now rather exactly. than later. But okay. that doesn't make her hurt any less, you guys. I really liked him and I can't quit my job. Uh, <laughs> nobody is expecting you to quit your job, okay? It's what you have to do until you can make it. Okay, we're all trying to make it, and we're doing jobs that we have to do until we get our big breaks. You should not feel ashamed of that. Right. Especially by Mr. Holier Than Now. He's a total hypocrite. Loser. Total douchebag. You know what? Forget him. Stop crying. Just stop. He's not worth your tears. Scooch on over, sister. We're about to find you. What, what is it? Uh, Christian Christianmingle.com. Christian Let's do it. Make sure he's not a killer, you know. Yeah. Like, 
for it. You don't want to find her in Griffith Park somewhere. Let's <laughs> make sure she's alright. Alright. Okay.